Hey there, and welcome to another Transcribe Me training video. This is part two of our QA training. Enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to edit a session that was previously timestamped in a video entitled QA Training, Speaker IDs and Timestamps. If you haven't watched that video yet, be sure to click on the link in the description box and check it out. For more information, you can refer to the Transcribe Me Style Guide and the Transcribe Me Sessions Handbook. Links for both can be found in the description box below. At Transcribe Me, the default is to edit transcripts to what we call clean verbatim. In clean verbatim, we want to capture exactly what the speaker said. However, we also want to clean up the stutters and stammers that are common when people are speaking. People often use a lot of crutch words or phrases when they're speaking. Words like, like, kind of, sort of, I mean, I guess, I think, you know. At Transcribe Me, the only crutch words that we remove are like and you know when they don't add meaning to a transcript. That means all other crutch words must be left in the transcript, even if you have a sentence something like this. So I mean, even if sort of a person kind of tosses sort of extra crutch words, right, all over kind of their speech, we have to, you know, kind of keep, I guess, all of them in, right? Because we don't sort of want to edit like their speech, yeah? We just want kind of to clean it up a bit. So yeah, I mean, I guess, yeah. In that monstrosity of a sentence, the only words that would be removed are the you know and the like, because they don't add meaning to the sentence. A like that adds meaning would be something that gives an approximation or that leads into a quotation. A you know that adds meaning would be one that was a question that was actually answered. We don't want to cross the line into editing what the speaker says. Therefore, at Transcribe Me, we have a phrase that we like to use, when in doubt, type it out. If there are large sections in this transcript that do not need editing, I will edit that out of the final video so that this video doesn't get too long. Because the session is the full file received from the client, we always begin with a capital letter and end with end mark punctuation, even if what begins or ends the file is not a full sentence. If the file begins or ends with a partial word, we ignore that partial word and transcribe the first full word that we can hear or the last full word that we hear. So let's go ahead and put a beginning capital letter and then start to listen to this first speaker to see if we have any changes that need to be made. Before we really dive deep into the conversation, I just wanted to get your take. How do you... Okay. The speaker here says, wanted to get your take, and we need to transcribe what was said. So we go ahead and change that. Your take, how do you define talent management and what parts of HR does that usually... And again, he says, what parts of HR? These little changes to the ends of words are some of the most difficult to hear, but you can train your ears with practice and time to hear exactly what was said. Let's continue on and listen to speaker two. I probably think about it a little bit differently. I, I like to think of it more in terms of processes, but the talent processes are really... And here it sounds to me as if the speaker says, but that talent processes are really about finding people. Let's go back just a tiny bit and listen again. I, I like to think of it more in terms of processes, but the talent processes are really I hear that T about on the end. finding people that have the right potential to perform or have the right capabilities and potential to deliver on whatever we need organizationally. Then I think it's you know, your employee experience, employee engagement and management processes that are responsible for sort of unlocking. There's a sort of in here. And people use all kinds of verbal crutch words when they're speaking. The only ones that we remove at Transcribe Me are like and you know when they don't add meaning to the conversation. So sort of is not like or you know, so therefore we must include it. Unlocking that potential and pointing it at the right thing. So in light of the digital transformation, what talent management trends are, are beginning to, to change right now? One of the biggest things that is on my radar or that I think about a lot is that I, I think we need to start thinking. Again, we're missing a couple of words in here. He says that I think about a lot is that I think we need to. Okay, we need to make sure that all of the words that are said are in our transcript. 
So once again, we'll go back just a little bit. Or that I think about a lot is that I, I think we need to start thinking differently about jobs as being like one job, one person. Instead of thinking of things sort of very linearly. And there's another sort of. Instead of thinking of things sort of very linear, linearly. Linearly and as like my job, my sandbox, my silo, we're starting to see things like agile and project-based work environments that are disrupting how we think about the way things get done. And so, Okay, now here we have a situation where we have two sentences, but they aren't really two sentences. Instead of thinking of things sort of very linearly, and as my job, my sandbox, my silo, that isn't a complete sentence. It's an introductory phrase, and therefore it needs to be offset from the rest of the sentence with a comma. It is dependent on what follows, and therefore cannot stand alone as a sentence. Get done, and so you know, rather than me having a job where you know I have a manager that puts me on this task, and I do the same task every day for 365 days a year, I might, you know. Again, here we have this dependent clause, and so rather than me having a job where I have a manager that puts me on this task, and I do the same task every day for 365 days a year, comma, I might be assigned to three projects at once. And then as one or two of those projects come off, I'm assigned to a different project. Just because a sentence is long doesn't mean that it's incorrect. Sometimes people do speak in fragments and there's nothing we can do about it. But we don't want to leave fragments if we don't have to. Two things are really challenging how we should be thinking about talent and talent development because it's not sort of one person, one. We're missing a sort of sort of one person, one job, or one person, one set of talents, like we can really... This is a like that doesn't add anything to the conversation. It is an approximation or an about. So we're going to take it out and start with a capital we. We can really piece the puzzle together in a different sort of way that I think feels better for people, but also is better for the organization probably in terms of getting the right talent to the right spot. Probably is a word that should be offset by commas because it is an unnecessary word in the sentence, it's additional information, and therefore it can be removed without changing the sentence. So we offset it with commas. Now to the right spot. I really like how you mentioned the disruption that technology has caused in the, the workplace and even talent management. Could you elaborate maybe a little bit more? And we're missing a maybe. Could you elaborate maybe? A little bit more. Right, maybe a little bit more on exactly how has technology disrupted the way that work used to be done. There's so many different things. Technology is making it so that, you know, work is more mobile, it's more fluid, it's less place dependent. Here we have something called a comma splice. We have three independent sentences that need to be offset by more than just a comma. We can use periods. Or, if the sentences are closely related, we can use semicolons, which is going to be my choice here because these sentences are all closely related to the technology spoken about in the first sentence. But, technology is making it so that work is more mobile. That's a sentence. It's more fluid. That's a sentence. It's less place dependent is also a sentence. So you cannot simply separate those with commas. They must be separated either by semicolons, if they're closely related, or periods. Comma splices are one of the most common comma errors that a QA will encounter. There's another one in this file that I'll explain in just a little bit. Had a big impact on it. I think also just the ability to, to to find and mobilize skills in a different way. So, you know, I'm a, an entrepreneur and, a, you know, small business. And so I use a lot of freelance work to get services. And I've been able to find some really amazing people to work with through workplaces like Fiverr or some of these other crowdsourced workplaces or freelance uh, marketplaces. Okay, here you can see that we have two words that are underlined with a red squiggly underline. This means that Chrome's spell check doesn't recognize these words and they are possibly misspelled. So we're going to put these words into a Google search.
and we see that Fiverr is a freelance service marketplace for businesses and it is spelled correctly. So that one will leave. We'll go back here and pick up Crowdsource. And we'll add Merriam-Webster to our search because Merriam-Webster is the preferred dictionary at TranscribeMe. And we can see by clicking on the crowdsourcing link that Merriam-Webster prefers this to be a single word, not two words or hyphenated. So that one again, we will ignore the change and just leave it as it is. Uh, marketplaces. And I think because of that happening and people starting to think differently about how they can package and market and connect what they do well to opportunities, those two things I think are really dynamically shifting what's happening around talent. All right, we have several changes to make in these last couple of sentences. The first one relates to the commas in this list. Typically, we do put commas between items in a list. And TranscribeMe prefers the Oxford comma, which places the comma before the last item in the list before the conjunction. However, in this list, there's a conjunction between each item in the list, and therefore the commas are not necessary. We have package and market and connect. The next problem is one we've seen before, and that is that the beginning part of the sentence is a dependent clause with the word because and it's dependent on the rest of the sentence. Even though an introductory phrase is long, that doesn't mean that it needs to be its own sentence. And I think because of that happening and people starting to think differently about how they can package and market and connect what they do well to opportunities, those two things, I think, are going to be offset with commas, just like probably and maybe, are really dynamically shifting what's happening around talent. Okay, so the independent sentence is those two things I think are really dynamically shifting, etc. But the beginning part of this is a clause that tells why, because of that happening. Okay, continuing on. Thing around talent. With the employment rate right now remaining low and the skills gap we're missing a the remaining low and the skills gap continuing to be a hot topic this year, how are organizations leveraging technology to keep these positions filled? I think that is a big challenge in the talent acquisition space. But some of the things that I'm seeing is I think that Okay, there's a that in here that the speaker didn't say. I'm going to take it out along with the extra space and then back up just a little bit so that we can list it again and make sure that it isn't there. Big challenge in the talent acquisition space, but some of the things that I'm seeing is I think that people... Okay, so we do not want to add words to the transcript that the speaker didn't say. That's as important as making sure that we get all of the words in the transcript that the speaker did say is I think that people are really having to rethink how they go to market in terms of engaging with potential talent, building longer term relationships. I also think they're starting to think differently about contingency plans around work and how do we engage and work with contractors and freelancers in a way that gives us more flexibility. This sentence almost looks like it's two independent sentences that are joined with a conjunction, but it's not. I also think they're starting to think differently about contingency plans about around work and how do we engage and work with contractors? There are two things that people are starting to think differently about. So we have a compound direct object, not two independent sentences. It's more flexibility. I, th I think there's just a general increased focus around you know, the experience and the relationship. It seems like those are thematically. The transcriber recorded semantically for the word here, but the speaker actually said thematically. We need to make sure that if there are similar sounding words that we have transcribed the correct one. This applies also to homonyms and things of that nature. Thematically important, and I think we're starting to realize like it's not just about having a good job that pays good money. We've got to be... All right, we have the second most common comma error shown in this sentence. And that is that two independent sentences that are joined with a conjunction must have a comma before the conjunction. So here we have, it seems like those are thematically important. That's a sentence. I think we're starting to realize it's not just about having a good job that pays good money. That's a sentence. 
So this conjunction and is joining those two sentences, which means there must be a comma before it. This comma here is not necessary. Having a good job that pays good money is fine without a comma there. We do not add commas simply because the speaker pauses. Money, we've got to be doing more than that to not only attract, but to retain and, and build longer term relationships with, with people, whether it's full-time employees or contractors and freelancers. Whether it's full-time employees or contractors and freelancers is not an independent sentence. It is dependent on the sentence before, so we need to offset it with a comma, not a period. And finally, we need to add a period to the end of this session because as was stated before, we have the full file.